The due date is near, man. April 15th. I'm not talking about your taxes. Be sure and pay those as well. I'm talking about these multiple ASINs. Over 440,000 ASINs will be affected on April 15th. If you have any of these in your inventory, they will be destroyed. In this real quick video, I'm going to show you how to pull a complete list of all of these multiple ASINs from Seller Central. All right, people, if you are brand new here, you've never seen any of my videos, this is the first one. Be sure to check out a few more videos, and then if you find value in any of them, consider subscribing. We're over here inside Seller Central. We're going to download a complete list of all of those ASINs. It's really quite easy. You just have to know how to navigate to this page. So I'm going to link this complete page down below. You just have to be logged into your Seller Central account, and you should be able to click right over to this page. But if you don't want to do that, let me show you real quick how to do it. We're just going to over to the search box and we're going to type in multiples right we're going to let that pop up we're going to click on multiple fba inventory scroll down here to the bottom and it says to download a list of complete asins click here we're just going to click on that and then it's going to go and download that complete list in just a second there it is let's let it pop up and we'll check out all of these crazy asins look last updated for six uh 2020 multiple lists i mean there are 448,645 ASINs on this list. Now this list is definitely overwhelming, but if you wanted to utilize it, you could either, you know, cross-reference the ASINs you have in inventory with this list, or, you know, future products that you plan on buying, go ahead and make sure they're not on this list. But the problem really is when you're out there sourcing in store, there's not a clear way to tell whether something is multiple. So what I've done is I took in a few examples from this list and we'll look at them right here to give you a better idea of what is a meltable product because some of these things might surprise you. So starting with the obvious, you know, we got chocolates, we got caramels, we've got things like coconut chews. Uh, this is actually hard candy, so I was a little bit surprised by this one, but your candies, your sprinkles, your icings, those kind of things are gonna melt in the heat of summer. And of course, gummies, right? So whether these are vitamins and supplements or candy, gummies will always melt. Be sure to get those out of your inventory. So these are definitely the more obvious ones that you need to go ahead and watch out for, but some that were not so obvious to me were things like gel caps. So over-the-counter medications, those gel caps may melt as well. And then we have makeup, lipsticks, anything made of wax, as you're going to see here. We even have deodorant, and then we have some tattoo aftercare balm, chapsticks. Again, things made of wax are going to melt during that summertime. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what to be on the lookout for when you're in those retail stores. But if you're doing online arbitrage or product research from home, there are Chrome extensions that take that huge list and just make it a little bit easier for you to identify whether or not a product is multiple, is hazardous, or whether or not you can even sell it. Currently, my favorite is right here, ASIN Gadget, and it's really inexpensive. I think the lifetime license for the basic ASIN Gadget, which is gonna show you whether you're restricted, whether it's hazmat, and whether it's meltable, that basic license is like $40 for life. And there's definitely more that that basic version can do for you. I have the pro version though, and the pro version is extreme. If you wanna see a video about what that can do for you, I'll link it right up top right now. But go ahead, utilize that list, that huge list, right? Make sure that you take those product examples that I gave you and just keep those in mind when you're out there sourcing as we go through this meltable season. My name is Josh, everydayfba.com is the website, and I'll catch you guys on that next video. Peace. If you are a brand new Amazon FBA seller or you want to learn how to start selling on Amazon FBA, you want to get into selling used media, books, CDs, DVDs, you want to start doing some retail arbitrage, some online arbitrage. If you want to learn more about all this awesome stuff and how you can make money on Amazon and make money online in general, look in the description. There's going to be a ton of links to help you get started. There's going to be some free resources, some free trainings, and also some other paid stuff, some good softwares, some good tools, everything that I use to run my Amazon FBA business. If you are a new seller, you want to know where to start, look in the description, check out those links.